Welcome to Annotations and You, the Do's and Don'ts. If you're watching this for the first time, then welcome aboard. You are the newest annotator for Anoverse, a group dedicated to mocking content with the latest in obsolete YouTube technology. We do this with a device known as the Be Up U Matic. With the Be Up U Matic, you are able to make funny commentary and jokes about cartoons that are old, crappy, mockable, or any combination of the three with text boxes that mimic YouTube annotations of all. As a Be Up U Matic annotator for Anniverse, there are certain guidelines we expect you to follow. This instructional tape will teach you the do's and don'ts of annotating what we expect from you, and what we don't want to see from you. Let's start off with... The Basics When making an annotation, you want it to be legible. If your annotation box is a dark color, use light text. If your annotation box is a light color, use dark text. Likewise, if you're making a title annotation, be mindful of the background of the video and the time-lapse your annotation is on screen. It's just common sense. Be mindful of the annotation space you're given. Take up too much space on the video, and you give your fellow annotators very little breathing room. If you want to make larger annotations, keep it short or wait until the end when the credits are rolling. Not every video has to be annotated by you. Don't force yourself to sit down and annotate each and every video we throw at you. If a video doesn't interest you, that's totally okay. Likewise, if you do annotate a video, don't push yourself to finish it in one sitting if the video is long. Know when to take breaks. If possible, section up the video in multiple segments to avoid burnout. Lastly, even though you're an annotator, remember, this isn't a job. Treat annotating as a hobby, something you do for fun. Annotation Etiquette As an annotator, we have a series of rules you must follow to keep the annotating experience fun for everyone. If you see an annotation that is misspelled, cut off, or overlapping another annotation, let them know so they can fix it. Be sure to include a screenshot of the annotation, the video the annotation is part of, and a timestamp of where the annotation is located. Do be aware that some of the older annotators like using jokes that can be considered politically incorrect. Keep in mind that these are merely jokes and do not represent the annotator's opinions. If you see an annotation that makes you feel uncomfortable, don't call them out for it in the video or attempt to censor it by covering it up. Instead. Message the annotator privately about the matter. If you are afraid to contact them directly, discuss the matters privately with a moderator or one of the veteran annotators. To do this, however, you will need to join the Anniverse Discord, which you can find the link for in every video description on the channel. The same rule applies to covering up swearing. Anniverse is full of adults and adult-like people who swear on a regular basis. If you wish to refrain from swearing in the server and in annotations, that's perfectly fine. Just realize that you're in a group of people who do. In turn, don't use ethnic slurs, racist remarks, or homophobic comments in a serious manner. Even though we make a dark or non-PC joke every now and then, we don't go whole hog and be as offensive as possible. That being said, however, as a community that spans the globe, there are some annotators who can use certain words because of their ethnicity. If you still feel uncomfortable seeing the word used, feel free to message them privately about it. Don't censor it. Keep political jokes to a minimum. Because we live in such a heated time right now, it's easy to make a joke surrounding current politics. While the occasional political joke is fine, don't overdo it and let your political views steer your annotations. Speaking of jokes, don't force a joke if you can't make one. If you can't come up with a good joke for a particular scene, don't take it upon yourself to stall and think of one. Let the jokes come naturally. If you need to rewatch the video more than once to get the creative juices flowing, go right ahead. Likewise, don't force a running gag on other users. While running gags are one of the many foundations of Anniverse, they don't happen overnight. If at any point you get called out for violating any of these rules, 
don't get upset. You are allowed to explain your actions, just in case you don't fully understand the rule or rules that you've broken. Simply apologize and promise you won't break these rules again. That is considered a warning. If you become a repeat offender, especially for a rule you've broken in the past, you will be given a strike. Attempting to argue against the strike could easily land you a second strike. If you get three strikes, you will be terminated and all of your info within the BUP Umatic will be scrubbed. In other words, get out and don't come back. In the unlikely scenario you find yourself banned, do not attempt to get back into BUP Umatic with a different email account. We have ways of making sure you cannot get back in, including a permanent ban system that is currently in the works. Promotion Promotion from b up Annotator to Proper Annotator will take a lot of hard work and determination. You must not only follow all the rules mentioned earlier in the tape, but you must prove yourself to be a competent comedian and have a good understanding of our history. Every now and then we will hold promotion ceremonies and those who we deem worthy enough will be labeled an official annotator, granting you access to the current annotation tool and the current lineup of shows for annotating. If you are not selected for promotion, do not get upset. Be congratulatory to those that did get promoted and simply keep at it. Not getting picked for promotion doesn't mean we don't like your annotations. We just don't think you're ready yet. If you better yourself and show your worth, you could be promoted next time. Recap. So to recap. 1. Make your annotations legible. 2. Don't hog annotation space. 3. Don't force yourself to do every video. 4. Treat annotating as a hobby. 5. Report any misspelled, cut off, or overlapping annotations to their poster. 6. Don't cover up or deface any annotation you deem offensive. 7. Don't make racist or homophobic jokes or use offensive slurs. 8. Keep political jokes to a minimum. 9. Let jokes come naturally. Don't force them. 10. Don't justify any rule violations. 11. If you are banned, don't attempt to return. 12. Don't get upset if you are not picked for promotion. If you follow these rules and play your cards right, you could become the next full-fledged annotator. This concludes the Annotations and You, the Do's and Don'ts tape. Thank you for watching, and once again, welcome to Anniverse.